for me enlightenment just means dissolving I don't know of a better word you're just letting go letting go of everything and just slowly you let go of the things and you just come into such a joy and such a peace and and because you're just one with everything that is enlightening this suffering which we have it's from us it's in our own mind it, um, our, our um, atom is not suffering in that way it's our it's our personality our ego that's what's suffering because we think we should have this or we think we should have that and when you let go of that there's such a freedom that, that, that's real freedom I don't know about an experience of God I think it's a better three letter world and word and that is just joy because that's what it is it's just bubbles up from within you when it's when it's flowing it's the most beautiful thing and it, it, it doesn't have a form it doesn't have a um, an end point or a starting point it's just there it's joy and it's love and, and it's just feeling that towards everything it's, it's such a big concept but it's actually so simple <laughs> um, I have a message for everyone or I'd like to have a message for everyone and um, it's just to, as they say in the ad for Nike just do it you know everyone practices yoga to some extent but um and people know about it and it's probably even more so in India than here everybody knows what is yoga and they know the theory of yoga they know it really well but it's nothing the practice is the, the thing which has to be done and and there's also a need to have a belief that that uh, that you can do it that it is possible to come to those levels which the, the great saints have and which the, the real yogis have um, yoga you always read in the teachings you read in the in the the, the spiritual songs the bhajans it says that um, the guru changed the crow into the swan you know and it's changing that the bird it's, it's it's black and somehow it has a reputation of running here and there and grabbing the dirtiest things and it's coming up to the swan and, and in the the Hindu philosophy this one is so advanced that it can actually if you mix milk and water together it can take out just the milk it takes out the best out of everything and the point is everyone can change it doesn't matter where you start from but you have to start you may be you know a person who's done some really uh, nasty things or done something that's really wrong okay it's done but now we have to start and and from that point and then try and move forward and not get too hooked up in thinking I am this or I am that but let's move let's go for it there's a um, and the other thing is there was um, there was one quite famous bodyboarder surfer uh, some 20 years ago I'm sh showing when I used to go to the beach haven't been much since but and they used to ask him he used to go in the most stupid waves the wrong way where everybody thought that you couldn't come out and he would come out and they'd go what are you thinking and I said, and he just said I just think that I'll never know if I never go yeah. and you'll never know how far you can go on the yoga path unless you actually commit yourself to it and commit to the fact that you can be something really special on that path and then just go for it I really think you have to have somebody who's guiding you at certain points where you just come to a wall and you don't know how to go around it and he actually shows you where the door is and just opens it and says it was right there you just didn't see it it can be that they have to do very very little but those points without them you just can't go through on the other side I don't think you need to be someone who's living in an ashram or living completely in in uh, you know as a sannyasi or as a swami or as anything like that for me it's um, it's not about what you do, but it's the commitment that you have towards it. If you're in, in a family life and if you have children um, and you're dedicating your whole life towards those children and bringing them up to be good humans and teaching them right and just giving them everything, that's renunciation. You know, you, you give up your own life for those children and through, something, through that something really, really, really special comes. And the same in, in work, it, it's not about the job, but it's about the, the, the way which you do it, about your commitment towards it. It may be the most simple thing, but why not to do it perfectly?
and yoga is about perfecting yourself and, and to do that you have to do that in every aspect of your life all day yeah. and the teacher I've, for me is, is essential but the paths are many and and, a, and a, the proper teacher also he recognizes that and he sees that there's no there's no mold there's no fixed way that you have to go and one thing I'd like to say to parents in general one thing that troubles me is uh, there's this part of a child's life when they're very young from the from the birth until they're about 10 years old and it, it, to me that's when their whole life is formed and I really think it's a pity if people uh, concentrate in that time on other things and not on their children the other things will always work and also of course you have to work but but uh, as much as possible to think can I get more time to be with my children to be with my children during that time and spend quality time with them because it's just so important because that love it has to be unconditional and, and it's built up in that childhood time and, and parents then that bond they'll take forever with those children grandparents are beautiful with the grandkids but it's much more, more important when, the, when you're the parent and they're in that young age to give it then while you've still got so much so much to give and that's the, the golden time and that's the yoga that is also a form of yoga that when you're a parent and you're just giving everything it's the most beautiful you, when you're practicing yoga you actually have to allow it to unfold within you you have to believe that you have the not the right but you yeah, it is a right. It's a right that you can be happy. It's a right that you can relax. And and you have to somehow consent to say, yes, let this yoga work on me, because it will work. But um, there's parts of our personality that block that. They don't want it to happen. And you also have to believe in it. And take one path. I was looking through a yoga magazine just before coming, because someone said, see what's happening in Australia in yoga. And I have to confess, after looking through the whole magazine, I felt seasick because there's so many different paths and methods and ways and, and this and that happening. They're all good, but you have to choose one and then go with, go with it till it's finished. Um, it's no point having lots and lots and lots of small holes, we say in India when you're digging a well, it's no point to have a hundred small holes, you have to have one deep one that you'll get to the water. And you have to, I hope everyone will have the luck at some stage in their lives that they'll find their path. And then you have to commit to it and say, yes, this is for me. And then go for it. Um, it will come times when it will be very difficult. It will come times when you think, oh no, this is not right. But those are the things you have to go through. And when you've gone through it, then you really, really, really can appreciate what it is. What I thought I could get out of yoga, it's nothing to pay what, what I find I can get out of yoga. And I know that's nothing compared to what I still have to find, which comes out of yoga. It's just beyond all comprehension. And, and then it's about belief and about trust. Um, in one, in the, the movie, The Matrix, there's one point in the movie when uh, they're watching Neo and he's working in this other world and fighting with these agents or whatever they're called and he's doing things which are beyond normal ability and then one of them says what's happening, what's happening, what's going on and the other one just says he's starting to believe if we have that belief that we can become something special spiritually that we can unfold ourselves without it it can't happen but when it's there then it just starts to go and everyone can do it.